Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Stefania. Thank you so much for finding me here. Hope you're all having a beautiful, amazing day so far. So as we tune in to this week's overarching energy and weekly uplift message, as I connect with the divine intelligence, the invisible realm, just take a moment and drop in with me and breathe. Let us welcome in the Holy Spirit. Let us welcome in the divine intelligence that lives within us all to awaken. May we all embody the divine truth like consciousness that we are made of and allow it to guide us lovingly on this beautiful path and this existence, these human avatars in which we live. And so it is taking this moment as I connect with the divine intelligence that lives within me to connect with you as I recognize the Christ in light in this collective. So I hope you're enjoying the messages and these um, insights, information, revelations that I receive from spirit for you each and every week. And I've been uploading more frequently um, as I dedicate these offerings to all of you. So if you like this, uh, my channel and you know, the information resonates with you, please don't forget to click and subscribe and share. It really um, makes me feel happy and it lets me know that, that this, this is re resonating for you. Okay. So I'm here to share my gifts with you and help everyone awaken to the divine intelligence and love and light that they are made of, that you are made of. So as I was connecting into the overarching energy, I was hearing the great distraction disease. So human beings are naturally wired to be taken out, to waver off, to be distracted. Everything can distract you, you know, from social media, the TV, you know, noise, you name it, easily taken out. Um, when I connect with the energy of the distraction disease, I'm definitely picking up like when you're driving, somebody who's driving and you're, you're, you're driving from A to B and you've been so out of your mind, so in this smoke, smoke, and, uh, smoke and mirrors energy that you, you don't even remember driving because you're just on autopilot you've been distracted with your mind. The mind is also a great distractor. We get attached to the distractions. We get attached to the stories. We get attached to the trauma. We get attached to the past. We get attached to uh, food triggers. I'm actually really getting strong. Food triggers is a really big distraction for somebody out there who's connecting in with this energy. So, you know, you could be thinking about something, you get triggered, food trigger off to the fridge. So, in this energy of the distraction disease, we want to correct that energy of distraction and create attraction, right? So you hear a lot about the law of attraction. You got to think it, you got to feel it, you got to call it in. Okay, great. Easier said than done, especially when you're human and we're all so wired to be distracted, right? So if you if you feel something like you just just pause with me now and think of something you want maybe it's you know oh you want somebody to arrive at the front door with a hundred thousand dollars of cash in the bag yeah let's manifest that let's focus on that how does it make you feel it makes you feel amazing you just focused in that moment instantaneously signaling the future that you want somebody with a hundred thousand dollars to show up at your front doorstep That'll make you happy. So you're in that energy of the law of attraction. So, but, but again, if you do it just for one second and then you're back to distraction, you're creating missignals. So you're missignaling the universe. You're missignaling the energy of the unseen realm, the divine intelligence that lives within because we're always co-creating, right? So I feel in this energy of this week, I'm here to remind you of what it is that is distracting you. It could be a person, you know, you're connected to somebody who you have um, a crush on and you're thinking about them and that's all exciting, but you know, you, you can become overly attached. You can be obsessed. You can be, and, and is that attachment healthy, right? Because people, by the way, are, who are meant to be on our track don't leave. 
I know that's that's like a hard one. <laughs> that's a hard pill to swallow when you want someone that, and, and they're not around and you're in separation. <laughs> Very true. People who are meant to be on your track at this moment, at this divine moment in time, don't leave. Okay, so take this time, if you are in separation from someone, if you're thinking about someone, to focus on the love within you, okay? Self-realization, self-love, compassion, kindness, it's an inside job. It doesn't happen in five minutes. It doesn't happen in one day. It happens over a period of time. The more you practice it, the better at, at it you become. And then you lift that vibration up and you become more in tune with being able to center in to the present moment, which is the center. So when you're centered in the divine intelligence in the present moment, peacefully, you signal that energy and you're drawing to you what it is. You can also ask for help. The unseen helpers in the sky, they're all around. You can't see my spirit guides, but they're definitely here. I just say, help, my printer broke down. I need help with that. Help me Come in a commanding type of way. There is no, you know, just be in the energy of directness of what it is you want with the universe. Okay, so what, it is, what is it that's distracting you? It could be overeating, alcohol consumption, a person, an unhealthy relationship, too much social media, too much TV. So you're being asked by spirit this week to look at what it is that's overly distracting you from keeping you from focusing on your center, focusing on being present in the now moment. The more present you are, you are and the more you release those distractions, at the very least, be more mindful. So put yourself, like for example, if you have 20 pounds that you want to lose, what do you, what do, you do? You start eating more healthy. You start exercising more. You're mindful about how to shed those 20 pounds. So be in tune. Be honest with yourself about what you could do better because you're being asked. It could be like if you think about how many times you check YouTube or social, like you watch this video and then you don't need to watch any tarot videos today. <laughs> it's that kind of energy, okay? So you don't take, take what resonates process it in the energy of alignment with the divine intelligence connect with your breath using your breath as your anchor is an amazing tool to help keep you in the present moment when we're present it allows us to choose our emotions because the emotional body in the collective is the the emotional body is fueling everything that you're feeling so my pain, my trauma, my addictions, my everything, right? Now, this isn't a psychology video, but, but we want to be in greater awareness of what's distracting us and align with that divine presence, that divine energy, okay? So you can always, you know, I do a lot of this work in my private session. So if you feel called to book a private session with me, please feel free to click the link below. <sighs> Sending you so much positive energy. In fact, let's just take a moment now. I'm going to tune in with divine intelligence. Activating my hand chakras for you. Receive this energy with love. Breathe. I just instantaneously connected in with my Christed light. Saw that in you. And something shifted within you. If you didn't feel that it's okay but we're all made of one consciousness. So when you connect with your Christed light, that energy of spillover, you emanate that energy out and it spills over onto people, onto, you know, so through this video. And I'm, don't put me on a pedestal. I'm just here practicing. I've been practicing meditation and as a, a teacher of meditation for 30 years. So I'm, I, 
I can connect in with that energy quickly now, spontaneously. And as I do, I share that with all of you. Okay? You are amazing. You are miraculous. You are the energy of the miraculous. The surrender to passion card just fell on the floor. It's way over there, so I'm not going to lean over and grab it. But surrender to passion, that it makes me when I feel when I when I it's not surrendering to sex. It's surrendering to what makes you feel enthusiastic. What makes you what makes you feel passionate about life, joyful about life, exuberant, and you know that energy of creativity. So you're being called to. Get rid of distractions, connect with your passion, which is the heart, the heart of God. You are the heart of God. The heart of God lives within you. And as you connect with the heart of God, you bring forth ideas and opportunities that have not been brought forth before because that is who you are, okay? Surrender to trust. When, 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 we're, in this, when, we're, in the when we're in spiritual practice, when we're looking at creating all, you know, this amazing life for ourselves and we're aligning with the divine and we're working on ourselves, we haven't seen the physical manifestation in form yet. It's hard to trust, but you're being asked to trust, trust in the divine. If you found this video, there's no coincidence. It's a God incidence. It's a source incidence. And you were meant to here. Look, surrender to spirit. Surrender to your angels. Know that as you walk forth with faith and connect in with the centered energy that you are made of, your soul gets a chance then to step through and guide you. Listen to your intuition, okay? Surrender to prayer. Oh, there's the drilling starting. I thought I was gonna beat, I thought I was gonna beat them today. <laughs> All right, we'll wrap this up soon. So hopefully, I'm not gonna stop because I'm in the flow. Surrender to prayer. What was I saying earlier? Early in the video, I was saying, ask, ask, your, ask your angels in the sky, ask them, the infinite beings of light and love that live just here they're just here you just can't see them the more intuitive you become the more centered you become the more you're able to connect with their energy and listen feel and know what it is they're trying to communicate to you so a few more angel blessings for this video we're just going to bless those construction workers who have been working hard on building that building out there connect with nature nature you think of a beautiful flower blossom and the wind blows through it, it stands strong. It is connected to the natural intelligence that it is made of. All of nature does this beautifully and naturally. So spend time in nature and be like the trees. Be like the tree. And remember that divine timing is at work in your life. Okay, now's the time to get rid of distractions, work with attraction, be very specific with what it is because your angels are here to support you ask and you shall receive okay so i'm going to wrap it up because we don't want to hear bombardment of drilling i don't know if you can hear that but i can so i'm sending you so much love and light namaste bye bye